It is back to school today for JCPS high schoolers mm -hmm. as the district continues to work through a disastrous start to the school year's transportation plan. Our Madeline Carter is live this morning at the Nichols bus compound. And Madeline, on Friday, elementary and middle schoolers went back. Today, we're going to see those high schoolers. That's right, Carrie and Alex. 26,000 bus riders in high school are getting ready to return to class today. And we're getting right to it to figure out how this staggered reopening is going to go. I've got the chief of communications for JCPS, Carolyn Callahan, with me this morning. Carolyn, I understand, you know, one of the biggest issues, of course, with the official first day of school was students not getting home until nearly 10 at night. I understand one of the solutions you have in place here soon is going to be an app for parents. Can you talk about that? Sure. It's called the EduLog Parent Portal. Light. It is, of course, the light version of this app. There is a more robust version that we're hoping to roll out in the future, but we needed something quickly, and this is what we could get up. So far, school-based administrators and the command center, have we have access to that, and it was extremely helpful on Friday. We're hoping to be able to roll this out to families sometime later this week, probably toward the end of the week, and families can go on. You can There's a drop-down menu. You'll select your child's bus number, and you can set parameters. So I want to know when this bus is in this zone. You'll put a pin in, and it will Give, send you a push alert to your phone when the bus is heading your way. You can also look up and see where the bus is when you're just wondering how far away is my child from this bus stop. So we're really excited about that. And of course, that. you know, on the first day of school, you know, the issue was some parents didn't know where their kids were. So this will hopefully solve that. And as far as uh, parents, I mean, are they, they're going to be the only ones that are going to be able to track these buses, correct? Yeah, so the parents will get it. You'll get a code from the district. You'll have to put in that code and um, then you'll be able to get the bus numbers and drop down and select your child's bus. And another thing we saw on Friday is you had JCPS vans on standby, ready to take any students home uh, who didn't have parents waiting for them at the bus stop. So will that continue today now that high schoolers are back? And how long do you anticipate that to be part of the program? Absolutely. So it's only kindergartners who need that hand-to-hand -hand contact. So for the not, no adults at the bus stop, that's for kindergartners. Uh, in the past, the bus would have to turn around and go back to the home school of that kindergartner, which was throwing off the routes and making things longer. So these vans, that is one example of how the vans are being used to go and pick up those children and bring them back to their home school so that they can get a ride home. Um, in other cases, it's if a depot bus is extremely late, we're using these vans and or other buses to transport those students so that every bus isn't waiting at the depot causing major backups. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Carolyn, if you could just very quickly explain, this is a staggered reopening. We already had elementary and middle school, school students back. Now we have high schoolers. Why did you all just very quickly decide to do this staggered reopening plan? We just thought it was a great idea to have middle and elementary schoolers together just so we weren't putting all of the pressure on the new routes at the same time. High schoolers are back today, but everybody's back today. So all K through 12 are back in school today and we're excited to have everyone back in our buildings. All right. Well, thank you so much. That's Carolyn Callahan with JCPS. We're going to just have to see how things go now that it's uh, the actual redo with all students back in JCPS and we will be tracking it throughout the day. Of course, right here on WLKY and online. Right now I'm reporting at the Nichols bus compound, Madeline Carter. WLKY News. All right, Madeline, thank you. And of course, we'll keep you updated throughout the day uh, just to track that transportation.